Please don't touch my bike. Oh, don't please? come near me. Don't come near me. I am the authority here. Get the hell out. Don't right now. Get the hell out. Today, we're stepping into the epic battlefield of Karens vs. Kids. Think it's easy pickings when a wild Karen targets a kid? Think again. These young warriors are taking no prisoners, armed with wit, confidence, and the kind of sass that leaves Karens everywhere absolutely shook. And be sure to stick around until the very end, because we've got some surprise bonus clips. This dude walks in, sees Karen being restrained by this teen. The moment he lets go, she flips her crazy switch back on. I, what is going on here? I, this, this lady attacked me. I attacked you? How the fuck she did? In my face, and she came at me because I have a USA flag on the back of my Jeep. The f started because she was posted up against that Jeep, and I said, hello, fellow Jeeper. I don't got my people cool, who my have cars Jeeps. Are my cars are fucking super. Oh, cops. You're gonna get off of me? Yeah, I'm gonna get off of you. Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Karen? Holy shit. Karen flipped it. Hey, don't touch him. I'm not gonna call the police. Karen, you're gonna call the police at me? Dude, she's oh, don't please. come near me. Don't come near me. This Karen thinks she can dictate who gets to use the trail and starts screaming at the teens. Because, you know, she obviously believes she owns the whole path. Get off the trail! There are so many families on this trail! You are not supposed to be on here with motors! Get off the trail! Get a motor! Get off the trail! Hey, no! No! Get no, off the trail! This is a bicycle! Get off the trail! Have you heard of the term Karen? <laughs> Karen really thought she could boss around those teens like she does with workers? Nope! Those teens weren't having any of her drama and put her right in her place. The drunk Karen on the loose was screeching at kids to go away because she thinks they don't belong in this neighborhood. She was also bullying them for speeding when they weren't. That don't matter, that don't matter. You don't live here. Oh, don't, don't want, you don't. No, I know you don't live here because you can't afford it. Oh, what, no, what are you talking about? We live here. Double I own that apartment. Y. Double Y. You know, you know what's crazy? These apartments are for people who make... But yeah. We tried moving in here, but we made too much. That's crazy, isn't it? Oh! That's crazy, isn't it? Oh! That's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy, isn't it? I paid for me and three other people. I don't people. give a f here. I don't give a f here. I'm about to hurt you. Hurt me. Hey. 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 Hurt me
Hey, back up. I'm back Riley, up. Don't do don't it. Don't touch me. Riley, don't do it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Respect these children. Don't touch me. Stop. You better respect these Who children. To respect the children, they weren't even in the road. Don't come no, up on me like that. They're not. No, they, they were nowhere near in, in the road. road. I was going ten miles but an hour. If they chased after a bow or something. Obviously, I was looking. You have killed them. Going ten miles an hour. You can't stop at ten miles an hour. Yes, you can. Yeah, after you hit them. No, you can slow on the brakes and they'll stop completely. Smack me, please, please smack me, please. If your wife touches me, I'm going to be pissed. She's not going to touch you. Hey, she's touching. I'm going off on you if she touches me. Oh, my God. Hey, get back. I'm telling you. Riley, Riley, don't do it. I'm telling you. Riley, get back. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Riley, 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 Riley. Get your wife, dude. I'm not touching you. Get your wife. I'm not touching you. What happened? I'm not touching you. What happened? Get inside. See, look at y'all done did. Get the fuck out of here. Little Miss Karen Teen disrespects the teacher over an assignment and gets booted from class. Then she shows up again, ignoring the rules, and the teacher calls the cops on her for trespassing. Wild, right? Can you believe it? Karen's out here yelling at kids for having fun in the park. She says their laughter messes up her game. I guess fun and joy are banned in Karen land. Do you live here? I'm asking you a question. Do you live here? Do you? You live here? And you think your mother would appreciate you doing that to no, other residents? Bitch. She didn't do anything. It was her. So now do you live here? Because you're the one who's screaming like a little baby. Sorry. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you come up here. You want to have fun. Karen screams at this guy to walk away, but when he tries, she blocks his way, yelling at his every step. And guess what? She even tries to assault him at the end. Your bicycles? Walk on, boy! Walk the f*** on! I don't care, you can record me all you want! Walk on! Walk on, boy! Walk on! Does your bike get on and ride? I'm putting up that sh Walk on, boy! Walk on! Walk the f*** on! Over your head, get your bags and move. Walk on. <coughs> Walk the f on. Well, you ain't going fast enough, huh? Out of my Respect. Face? Get the f on your own MySpace. Flipping me off over here like you something. Walk on, by the f Walk on, boy. You're tweaking. Please don't touch my bike. Walk on, mother. F Walk on. Keep recording me. Walk on, mother. F I, I'm trying to leave. Keep Walk on. Walk on. This. Crazy. Tell me, yeah, tweaking you walk on, but you're the ones disrespectful. No Get one could even see you. you. Get the out of here. Get the out of here. What are you on? I'm on you, not you. 
doing that? Hey, walk you're, on. Well, you better watch out. Walk on. What the f are you going to do? Dude, you're going to call you me a tweaker and I'm think you're shit funny? No, I you're not. You're trying to f say that I'm in the wrong. Could you because please I'm stop? I'm a female and I'm on something. Get the f on. This Karen teacher thought she could bully a student, but the entire class ganged up on her, defending the student. Karen had to run out of class, totally defeated. But I am sure disgusted with the fact that you just have no respect for anybody, including yourself. And wearing this doesn't make you wonderful. That's if you, if, uh, well, let's not go there, but yeah. you know what? It says be obedient, doesn't it? And you are not being obedient. Wait, you, say trust is you are not so being so obedient. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. You are not being she obedient by not listening to the teacher. I don't care who it is right. up here. Hey, ma'am, that's kind of that's disrespectful a, no. to touch his cross like that. No, you can't. Yeah, no. tell me that I'm you not being a good Christian. I didn't say that. I said yes, you are not being obedient. And that's not okay. It's never okay to tell someone that they're being a good Christian. I didn't say that. Only God can say you're not being obedient. <laughs> Karen was harassing her neighbor, blaming their kid for bullying hers. Turns out, it was Karen's kid who was the bully. Yet, she won't quit. She just keeps on screaming. Bullying mine and it has really? to stop no, now. Your son is no. going to attack mine has been bullied. Yeah, because he's bullying my son. No, because your son is My kids don't cuss. We serve God. Oh, this really? Is Do you know how many times I've heard your son stand right there and cuss my kids out? No, that's not, that's yes, not my that child. Is. That's Max. Ouch. And I don't approve of that. The kids that are standing what right there cuss my kid out. And what it's not Snapchat. No. And really, they took a baseball bat to my goal. So really, no, they did not. Yes, they did too. You weren't even here. It was video. No. Yes. You were inside, so you wouldn't know. Yes, they did. They, he has been bullying my son forever. Here's a kid. Get a million views. He said he was in the driveway. No, he said he was in the driveway. They're like, Caleb, 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 come here, come here. Leave when he comes over. Leave. You need to raise your kids better. She's on the property. Really? She likes to lie about her kids. Well, she, likes to, she, likes to, she likes to come to people's house without house. permission. Oh, yeah, because Look at this thing. Basketball and something fell off. That really? Is no, they had a I baseball bat. She needs to run more. And they were beating that uh -huh. with a baseball bat. Look, get really? out of my Video property, Video you're going to go. No. We have a witness. <laughs> Not only do we have a baseball bat. children cuss my son out Good. of the Good. And cuss him off. Get off my property. I got the paperwork. Good. And I got the bullying paperwork. I see what you are. Good. Get off my property. And I see what you are. You wouldn't even answer your door when we came knocking. Because we already tried knocking. It was like watching an unstoppable force meet an immovable object. These Karens in the park were harassing this jerk kid for cussing. They wanted an apology, but the kid refused to give in. You need to apologize to her right now. I ain't apologizing. Tell me, just in case. You said you heard him? I'm not apologizing. You can't do it. You heard him? Where's your mother? Apologize. Where's your mother? You can't do that. Hands on the set of mama. Just say, just say you're not. Say you're not. Say you're not. Say you're not. Just apologize. I don't know what's wrong with you. She didn't even talk to you, and you're just like disrespecting her. Big booty, booty. Yeah, because you were cursing. Wait, and I said, what is that? I said, you don't curse at your age. You don't like you. You can't control me. You don't say that, dude. Okay, you learn to respect. We're in a park. There's kids yeah. around you. You are in a park. She has a little kid. She's, She's don't pregnant. Call. You don't call. You can't do that. Woman, that okay? You don't do that. 
because then you're gonna be treated the same way. You need a baby. A woman is gonna treat you like that. You don't want that in your life. You're lucky that child. you're lucky that I wasn't with my husband because he would punch you for you having a dirty mouth. Do you understand that? He wanna do. <laughs> if I wasn't with my son, I would do something. I, I, I dare him. I dare him to Look touch him. him. Look I dare him. him to touch me. Look at him. Look at you you recorded that too, right? Look at that. No, 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 no. You recorded that too, right? Yeah. I did. No, you recorded that too. You know what is going on? This is what is wrong with society. And I feel bad for your parents if you have any. I feel bad oh, with if you have. Is this why you're alone at the park with your skin guys, friends? Uh, I'm not alone. I'm married and I'm pregnant. So I'm with my friends. And I'm not alone. No, I'm not leaving. That's why left. you are Religion a kid. Left. You Religion are left. You are, left are under age and you are alone you. because you nobody are. loves you. So I feel bad for you. You need help. You need help. Like help. Both of you guys need help. This Karen teacher starts singing and decides to cut a student's hair during class. Next thing you know, she was chasing students with scissors and everyone bolted out of the classroom. This crazy Karen starts stalking a kid, going all out with her madness just because she thinks he's bullying her child. Instead of talking to adults and sorting it out properly, she dives straight into the drama. Bro, this lady just shows up to the park and acts like we're trying to hit her kid. And we haven't even said anything, bro. And now she's like trying to follow us to our apartments, bro. Like this lady's crazy. No, no! That's why my mom yeah, works there. Yeah, you can. Well, you don't have a bike, and so you tell me Yo. where your parents are. No, no, you can't do that. That's illegal. You want to shake my mom? Yeah, I'm going to my dad. Hold on, what's that? Shut up. Now he's walking off with her bike because he's not telling her where he lives when he doesn't even have to. These entitled teens are worse than Karen's. They pushed the teacher so hard, he lost it and stormed out of class in anger. And you won't believe this. These crazy kids started applauding and laughing like it was some kind of achievement. Oh, you don't need to put it away. Get up, stand up, grab your stuff, grab the two things that you have, and leave my classroom. Mmm. Y'all think it's fun, bro, that's it. <laughs> 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 Karen
Karen's accusing these teens of bullying her daughter, but her own daughter says they didn't do anything. She won't let it go and keeps harassing them. What do we do? Yo, all call them. I want you to see my face and know what you do to my daughter. What do we do? No one You're did. abusing my daughter. What? How? How? Did, 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 hey, 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 ask, 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 ask her. Okay. She does. She tells me every day what these boys do to her. Do it. Uh, I don't know her. You don't live here. Six of you, and you're going after me right now. But I'm literally. Go away. Live here. Go away. But I've hung out with her. Remember at Roxbury? Hey, let's walk away. Yo, let's walk away. Let's walk away. This Karen goes nuts and starts assaulting some innocent kids, but their mom steps in to stop her, but soon realizes Karen is too crazy. Get the hell off the sidewalk now. Excuse me? Get off the sidewalk. Please don't touch me. Why'd you just hit me? Want me to hit you again? What the f is wrong with you? Yeah. You don't f touch me. Oh. I'll do what I want. You tried to run mom. the sidewalk. Mom! Hey, come on out, mom. Have a little talk with mom. Bro, she just hit me. Hey, mom. She just hit me. Come on out. Come on, tell your story. What are you doing? She just hit me. Uh-huh. She just hit Why me. You hit my child on the side. Oh. You hit oh. my child? Yes, she serious? did. Yes, she just did. You have a camera? You want to go look at it? I have you a camera. You want, camera. Camera. You want to see the video? down on the sidewalk and I'm with the, I'm on the board along with another board member. Would you like he to see this? Know. We're well aware. He tried to run us down on the sidewalk. I did not. And and lied to us. I have well, a video. it's a great thing that there's a camera strapped to his chest. Good. Right get, come on, boy. Get, get it on. Let me get see away it. Oh, me. Well, come on. Get, get away come from on. me. Come on. Get away from me. Come on. Come on. I swear to God, if this old lady touches me again, I can't wait. If this old lady touches me again, I swear to God. Oh, are We're here. I'm the police. Go get a go get a life. You need to go to your house. Bye bye. Go away. This is crazy. You've been. You don't hit children. You don't hit children. It's against the law. It's against the law. She showed me numerous videos. And shame on dad that your boys would do. She hit me. She hit me. She in the is back. an absolute. He's got Ready the whole thing on camera. With the board member I have it on camera. On I did sidewalk. not. No. Yelling at him. I can be on the yeah. sidewalk. Yeah. I can do anything I want. She, she touched me. my child and then called the cops. Oh, oh, oh. She already oh, did. She, she hit me. Well, want to see the video? Yeah. All right. Karen starts screaming at these teens to get out of the private parking lot. Instead of being reasonable, she goes from zero to crazy in no time flat. Push me because I can't call police. I don't give a rat You have to come here for 20. Get the hell out of here. Now. You have to get permission from somebody in the management office of our company. And that happens to be the mall. You don't have permission. Please. It is a show. This is a public property? This is private property. This is private property. So move! This is on our property, and you have no permission to be here. Wow! Yet now, I got RPD on speed dial. It won't take much. Mm-hmm. That's okay. You won't let it take much. That's okay. Calm, calm, calm. It's okay. Why are you so angry? Because you're pissing me off, disrespecting me by not doing what I've told you to do. I am the authority here. Get the hell out! This male Karen was acting all tough, trying to harass and scare a lady, but the lady didn't back down. And just like that, Mr. Tough Guy ran off to his car with his tail between his legs. What the f you? are 40. You're just a kid. If you weren't a kid, you know what? I'm gonna knock that phone out of your hand. Are you mad? Your daddy didn't win. Are you mad? Oh, just sit back and relax. Bye. Sit back and relax. I am sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. I wish you were 18. I'd well, move I your am. Hand. I am 19, bitch. Touch me. Touch no, me. Sweetheart. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it, baby. Touch me. 
touch me. I dare you. I'll remove your head. Provoking. Look at you know that. what? You're in my face. You're in my face. You yeah. better back off. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, you don't, well, you don't can't stay up long enough to cause any problems. Look at this little dyke. Oh, I get more than you, mother. I get so much more than you. You know what? Put your hand on me. Did I? Put your hand on me. Yeah? Have another one. <laughs> Are you mad? Let's see. Let's see your play real quick. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> Bye, baby. You know what you need? You need to be removed from the gene pool because you're too stupid to be alive. Yeah? Yeah, you do. Yeah, uh, you have yeah. no hair, sweetie. Oh, baby. Touch me. Touch me. No. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Come on. Come on. Get that phone out of my face. I'm about this close. I'm about Get this back close. Back. I'm Get about back in this your truck. How old are you? Hey, hey, shut up. You shut up. Shut up. Who's out here out of his truck? Bye, baby. This teen Karen went nuts, screaming at this poor guy like a maniac and harassing him for no reason. It was totally out of control. Keep talking. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking, you're being paid for. I'm, pay I'm paying taxes. Are you paying taxes? I'm paying my rent, I pay my student. Why, why did you try to like Cause me? Because you're, you're being murdered. You don't belong here. No, I don't belong. Yeah, so what I'm you just here, you don't belong here. But what's your problem with that? Uh, because you're an immigrant and you were you were born in different countries. But why? I I don't steal nothing. I'm in pay, I'm paying taxes. Yeah, you're taking videos. Uh, yeah, you're I'm taking paying. Videos of me without my what are what are what are you, what are you thinking about that? But what's your problem? Do you why is your problem? What's your problem? Why you take a video of me? Yeah. Take a video of me. Take a video of me. What's your problem? Take a video of me. You tell me. Yeah. What's your problem? I'm. Mr. and Mrs. Karen were harassing a kid at the skate park. The poor kid loses his mind, starts screaming, and tosses his skateboard away in a fit of rage. Don't do that! 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 I never said he ain't right on me. I said he needs to watch where he's going like everybody else. It don't matter. Yes, he does. Bro, watch where you go. I am, son. Son. This old male Karen called the cops on the kids for fishing on private property. When the kids tried to leave, he totally flipped out, got aggressive, and even tried to attack them right in front of the cops. Away from just him. sit down and he wait said for he the kept approaching us. We were just sit walking down. away. Hey, I don't want to hear it. Just sit down and wait for the police. You all right? Perfectly fine. Good. Are you with them? No. 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 Okay. We were just trying to explain it because he was telling them to report. This dude got all aggressive because we were fishing the lake over here, approached me. I told him to scoot back. He wouldn't. I got it on video. He turned off the camera and then he ran at me. So I socked him. He hit me too. And he hit he me back too. up. Yo, back hey, up. Hey, 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 he hey, hey. Back off. I'm about to spit. No, you can't. I'm not going to spit. I'm so done with you. Hey, 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 hey. No, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because then you'll be at fault. Yeah, I know. So just stay over there. He's going to jail. Hey, okay, just. Just stay over there, okay? You want to tell your dad a slide? I did. Oh, I was about to say, we're going to have to dip. You guys just sit down here. Yeah. I'd rather stand, but I'll be right here. You guys will have real quick. Okay. You can explain, but you still need to sit down right, no, over there I'm gonna and wait for the police. Dude, keep we'll stay right I'm going to... Ah. Understand. Good. Okay, good. So we're going to take a picture of that. Take a picture of that. She came out and she was like, she was just saying stuff like, pick up your stuff, yada yada, like, trying to be a can. I was like, I know how to fish, First man. First of all, Thank guys, you. I gotta tell you something. You can't be fishing over there. That's private property. It's, oh, we didn't know that. We seen yeah, that Google Maps. This is all private property. You gotta go and have a permit to fish off the, off the air. You gotta either be a resident of that area, or you gotta have a permit 
Sorry, we from St. Mark's. Sorry, we really didn't know that. We just I found this place on Fish Maps and we just looked. I understand that. Your dad's calling you. You didn't tell us anything. Karen was losing her mind, screaming at the kids just because they were being a bit loud. She even had the audacity to threaten to call the cops on them. It was absolutely ridiculous. Why is it your age? What's the matter with you? I just got here. Hey! Any more screaming, go on the cops and they're gonna start the assault on you. Got it? What? You're at a proper age. Hey, guys, keep your friends under control. No more screaming. Now, you know what's happening? Not here, not now. <laughs> Learn to deal with things. I will call the cops. Okay? <laughs> no <laughs> screaming. Hey, keep yourself under control. Keep your friends under control. Got it? Understood. Have a great day. Bye. Karen thought she could bully a teen in the neighborhood for fishing, but guess what? The teen wasn't having any of it and totally put Karen in her place. Because, because why? Because of why? I'm waiting. Because, for because to why? Show up. Why? What did we do? Because the fishing poles are not supposed to be perched along the river edge. Who says? Who said that? Because we've been coming here for years and we always do that. We've never. There's so many people that do that. Why are you giving me a look? We've been coming here for years. Mm. 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 And we've never had a problem. We've never had a problem. Okay. But you want to come and make a problem when we're just a kid? Yeah. Yeah. Because you have no life, right? No life? No life? Yeah, I got a life. No, you don't. Obviously, you don't. If you're coming over here messing with people that aren't doing nothing wrong, chilling with their kids, trying to fish, have a good time, quiet. There's a kid right there. Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, yeah, laugh, PPL laugh, PPL. laugh. PPL. PPL. It's funny, PPL. isn't it? I'm no, because I'm sick and tired of you people coming and bugging for no reason. Mind your business. Are we hurting anyone? Were you guys loud? Were you guys loud? Were you guys doing anything wrong? Yeah, because I'm sick and tired of people like you not minding your business. Mind your business. Why can't you just mind your business? I want the fish hook. Okay, did you guys take it out? Did you guys take it out? Okay, they took it out. So what's the problem now? Okay, leave. What's the problem? No, this is my family. Are you serious? We're rent. Yeah. How about? Okay, then get out of here. No, I rent here. That's wonderful. So do we. Okay. So you're so upset that people are fishing at a fishing place? No, I'm upset for people like you not minding your business. Mind your business. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you right now? Mind your business. Leave us alone. I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. Leave us. Yeah. You think this is funny because you have no life. You have no life. Are you intoxicated right now? No. Are you drunk? Because only drunk people would do this. Only drunk people would do this. You're coming up with an excuse? Yeah. Hey, what? That you're drunk? You're drunk. No, I am okay, not. then you need to get away from us. Like, get no, away. From me. We were I'm too damn fine. old to fight. Then why no. are you doing this? Because then I hate you. They took it out. They took it out. It. So what's the problem? So leave no. me alone. You're in our area that we were fishing in. No, I'm you not. You leave. My dog. Okay, then go walk your dog then. Go walk your dog. Have no. a good night. You Have a good move. night. Uh -huh. We did, ma'am. They're move. gone. And then They're gone. What is your problem now? Up. Yeah, no. shut up. You're causing Go. Me. Bye. Have a wonderful me. night. Have a wonderful night. Have a what? Bless you. Bless your. This super annoying kid was causing chaos, so the cops had to come and deal with him. When they made him get off the school bus, he just ran away from the cops. They had to chase him in the end. Hey. You want to screw around with me? We got two police officers tied up because of you. Now, how about I take you off the bus and take you to jail? I didn't throw it. I got all these kids saying you threw it. Don't be a smart act to me. You understand me? You don't tell me you don't have a name. Now, get over here. Sorry, buddy. Get over here. I didn't throw it. Come here. Where do you live? Where do you live? You tell me where you live, you go to jail. What for hell? Off the bus, now. What hell? I'm not Come here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
This old male Karen loses it at some teens for being in the parking lot and tries to break a kid's skateboard while screaming like a crazy maniac. You know what? I didn't mean to, dude. Calm down. You, you're not supposed to be down here. Hey, sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Go. Okay, well, Go. Can you, can you don't not touch me. Not don't him touch me. Hey, you I will. Oh, don't. Oh, you. don't you. You're, you're a what the f problem? My problem is you were told being down here in a garage, a personal garage. Sorry, sir. I, I, it's My aunt wrong. lives in here. Good. Go get your aunt. And okay. tell her that you're an asshole. Okay, we do. Can you stop? Okay, we get it. Okay, sorry. I'm really sorry, sir. I'm tired of coming in this goddamn place and you can little children being in here. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Well, go to hell home! Okay, we will. This crazy teacher totally lost it in class because this annoying student didn't stand up for the pledge. Thank our country. And you are going to sit there on your butt Don't shake your leg. I'm going to do something to get you. I'll defend my country from the very end. Then go back to where you're from, Mexico or Guatemala, where you were born here. And you won't stand up for the flag. These teen Karens were harassing a trans person, throwing transphobic slurs at them. So wrong, yet they feel entitled to treat others like that. Why would you take my phone? I'm not a dude. What are you doing? And then you call yourself human? You got your, you call yourself a human. You call yourself a human. And you think this is okay. You think this is okay that you've just Stop picked my phone? Me. I have no you have no consent. Because you were pointing at me. Your friend literally made a comment about me. No, and I came to see what was the reason. You were laughing at you. You were laughing at someone else. You weren't laughing at that kid. You kicked my phone. You don't know who I am. So why would you do that? And you're calling me a man. You don't know what I'm capable of. I am not a man. You can't say that. Now it's time for the switch up. Let's see how these Karens fare up against the people of their own age. This lady wasn't afraid to confront a guy on the plane next to her who was being fat phobic towards her. Hypocrisy at its finest. Uh, my name's Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Okay. Okay. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I couldn't help but notice that before we took off, you were sending really horrible text messages about me to somebody. I have photos, yes you were. You said, they said something about, well, hope she didn't have any Mexican food, and you said, oh, she ate Mexican. Well, if my flight doesn't take off the ground, you know why, and stuff like that. Okay. I, I saw the whole thing. Okay. I apologize, I was drinking, and I apologize. Yeah, just, you have no idea who you'll hurt with those kind of things. I apologize, you got me, and I was drinking, and I So you were drinking, okay. And, like, do you normally make fun of fat people? Like, is that something that you like to do? Did you notice that I was nice to you when we were in the air? I picked that thing up for you. Right. Right. I didn't want part of your table. You made me feel so uncomfortable to exist in this seat that I didn't want anything from you. I didn't want you to pick up my thing off the floor. You know, in fairness, in fairness, you probably shouldn't be sitting in the edge of those seats. You know, when they ask you, are you willing and capable to assist people in getting off the airplane in an emergency? Do you honestly think that you are? That's funny because I work out about five times a week. I'm here okay. for a shoot. I'm a model. I'm able to have a very, very large social media following. Cool. I've been tweeting American Airlines this whole time, letting them know your seat number, our flight number, what's okay. happened, what you said. I showed them the photos, so they're going to take care of it for me. Okay. I don't think you'll ever see anything from them. That, that's your own thing. Okay. So you know nothing about me by the that's size true. of my body. Yeah. You know nothing about me. So to say something, to have a quip like that back to me after I'm talking to you about this, after mm -hmm. you already apologized, is, a, did, is an extra asshole thing for you to do. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. You don't think it is? Because you think that, are you a doctor? Let me ask you something. Can you assume something about me? Are you a medical professional? I would just love to know like where your expertise is coming from. That's none of your business. That's none of my business. So business my body is also none of your business, so you have yeah, no idea what I can or can't do with it. Fair enough. Right. And I don't know if you noticed, but the entire time I've been sitting here like this to make sure that I didn't dare 
get in your seat. I know. You so. have an armrest over there. This gentleman and this gentleman, this gentleman over here has armrest. I have not had a single armrest the whole time because you both took up the armrests. But you also wanted to know if we could pick up the uh, armrests right, if because, they did move. Because before they didn't move. Okay. So that was attempting to me. And if, and if you said no, then that would have been fine. It was a question. Okay. It wasn't, hey, move that. Hey, pick that up. It was, hey, can we pick these up? And they happened to not. And that was your choice. And if they did pick up and you said no, then that's your decision. I paid extra to sit in this seat because I knew I needed leg room. I have been researching first class flights and this class flights okay. for two weeks. This flight wasn't bought by me. It's bought by the company that's flying me out here to do this shoot. So I didn't have a choice on where I sat. I had a choice to get this bigger seat so that I didn't inconvenience anybody else. Okay. I know I am big, but I have not been in your way. You have not left a neck mark on the side window. Yeah, that was really funny, huh? That's so funny. You liked that one, huh? Yeah. Don't ever treat somebody like that again. You're right. You don't know anything about me. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right, Natalie. Thanks. These Karens in the neighborhood had the audacity to scream at a lady for parking in her own driveway. But get this, they do the exact same thing and think it's fine. This is my car on our driveway. Oh, oh, then why can you guys do it then? This is, this is hers. Yeah, and this is ours. Well, so what's your point? What's your what point? Somebody parked over there and she parked you there guys park her all her day there. there. What are you talking Just about? This down. is my driveway. Oh, I park park the back where the parking is. Right. Then why don't you go back there and park there too? There this is. is my side of the property. I don't, I don't have to move anywhere. Come on out. Yeah, the cop is coming out. Yeah, Go. They'll tell you to move your car. Yeah, they're right. gonna tell you to move your car. This is her driveway. This is our driveway. What the hell is your Karen thought she could harass the restaurant workers and started throwing things at them. Well, guess what? She ended up getting arrested. Why the cops are coming? Get my keys. The cops are on the way. Get my keys. Get my keys. Where are my keys at? I don't know. I sure did because y'all didn't make my She just threw a whole ass machine at me. You need to arrest her. I'm literally only 19. I got it all on video. I can show you. Karen pulls the classic customer is always right card at the hotel and gets into a heated argument with the hotel worker. But that's not my problem. They took her if you car. Work for ISG, you know to put the name of the reservation. They did. Let, no, no. Let me, let, me let, me, no let, me, let me explain to you. Let me. No. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. First off. You, she was in, no, no, listen, they already messed it. It doesn't, no, it does not matter about that because customers are always right, Terrell. No, they're not. No, they're yes, not. they are. So okay, listen, listen, so listen, and listen. And you are absolutely correct, so Terrell. You, you are, no, no, listen to, me. Listen to, me. Listen, to me. listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Are you going to listen? I'm to keep it because they say that's their room. And all your stuff gone. So do you want to look at me? Because all your stuff was stolen. Because I gave a key to somebody that say that they room that's not on their name. That's not a reservation. Do you come back and look at me? Because all your stuff her, was stolen. Her card and her the ID card was on there. The card and the ID. That's not my fault. That's the previous person. That did not leave you no. She was put in a room with no heat. That's why they checked her out of the room. That's not my problem. If she don't have an ID to match a reservation, I cannot get it. That's not room. my problem. They yes, should have fixed it. That doesn't matter. Did they not say that they fixed it earlier? Yeah. Did that I not ask not you to matter. get a receipt? Yeah. It does not. That's yes, not my fault yeah. that your previous employee, that like you should have trained said, up the right like way. Said, you have a problem, like and it's okay. Problem. I'm going to pray for you. you know? I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you, but I will be calling corporate and the GM tomorrow about you. Are you recording all this that he's doing? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here's my car. Here's my ID. Here's my ID. The cops are trying to talk, 
but these guys straight up ignore them, like they're invisible or something. Yeah, we can do that. We can go to Battle Creek. Yeah. I like those mushroom swiss. Hello. Are, are, the spicy are, are we not being verbal? Good. Yeah, that mushroom swiss does sound really good. We're just trying to have a conversation. Oh, we're not trying to yell at you guys. I do like the crunch wrap supreme. Okay. I, I like the uh, cheesy bean and rice and peanut. <laughs> I like the burrito supreme. It's it's it's. it's they're charging what? you five bucks for that. Are they really? Thing. Really? Well, that sir, must be that sour sir, cream. Either way, right you can have a, a yeah, they're not extra sour cream. Right about this. Really? Yeah. I always add extra sour cream, so that puts it over five dollars. Yeah, really, it does. Mm -hmm. Just for one simple burrito that I can make at home for like fifty cents. Right, it's right. Crazy. It is crazy. Totally insane. Gentlemen, can we can we have a conversation about? Karen had the audacity to assault the worker, while her friend was desperately trying to calm her down. Justice was served when the cops arrested her. This old male Karen was harassing a worker in the elevator who was just doing their job. He wouldn't leave them alone. In the freaking car! You're yelling at the wrong people. You need to go talk to the management around here. We got nothing to do with that. You're the elevator people. You're under contract, aren't you? Yes. So they okay. pay us. No, they pay us. Wait a minute. What? They pay us to do this. To fix the elevator? Yes. We're not broken. fixing the, Those two elevators are under service, sir. This one, I'm in charge of this one. Well, somebody better do something. I'm filing a lawsuit. Go ahead. I have a handicapped woman. Honey, you can't get through there. Two months now. I have no Security! <laughs> Can you imagine? This Karen in the restaurant was out of control, harassing the worker and making a scene, demanding to see the manager. We have one Mother Earth, right? We have one Mother Earth. You get it, right? One Mother Earth, take care I'm of it. Sorry, did Respect it. Respect it, Respect it the I'm way sorry. it deserves. I'm sorry. Have a good night. I'm gonna send this to your manager. I'll get him. Yeah, don't worry. Get your manager. Let's go. Hey, Justin, come here. Justin, Justin, let's go. Let's go. Justin, let's go. I don't care if I get kicked out. Let's go. I'm sorry to bother you, Justin. Your employees don't care about the environment. I didn't throw this out. Don't if worry, I'm recording. I'm recording this whole time. I'm recording on Facebook Live. Facebook Live! <laughs> Facebook Live! Facebook Live! Facebook Live! Facebook Live! You don't care about the environment, bitch! You don't care about the environment! We have one Earth! We have one planet! We don't give a sh** about it! We have one Earth! Respect it, bitch! It houses you! It homes you! Mr. Karen at the gym was acting like a total maniac, harassing the guys for absolutely no reason. Maybe something awakens inside him when he sees men working out, and he just wants their attention. Hey. Oh man, there's his boyfriend. There's his boyfriend. There's his boyfriend recording it. <laughs> Realize who's got your back, your boyfriend. Where you at, boyfriend? I know. This one needs to get out, bro. No. This one needs to get out, bro. I was not saying shit. <laughs> get out, bro. I bet you are. I don't care if he says something, but this boy wants to fight. Bro, this is starting, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. They get too hyped up. They get too excited. Bro, this dude, bro, this dude's about to get knocked the f out. Come here, boy. Hey, 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 hey,
Hey, Fuchil! Oh, get the out of here, you bitch. Oh, you need to throw a punch. Get the out of here. Well, he's throwing this at me, wants to fight. Come on, let's fight, you bitch. You want to throw it up. Let's fight. Bro. Where you at, you faggot? Let's Yo, go. Yo, he's not even throwing s***, bro. Where you at, you faggot? How old are you? How old are you? He's a minor, yo. 17, you can you believe it? Karen hit a car, but instead of owning up, she had a meltdown and started screaming at the other guy to pay. Fuck up my kids! Marathon, you're really gonna pay! Really gonna pay! I hurt! Man, with all due respect, you're in my lane. I should be weaving up the while we were turning! I asked you no. nicely to stop multiple No! No, I don't have to fucking stop you f***ing me! She's been like this for five minutes. I'm yeah. Are you hurt at all? No! Do me a favor, you smoke something. Yeah, no doubt. I, I also want... This lady was giving a hard time to an entitled delivery guy who parked in a handicapped spot. When she confronted him, he actually had the audacity to push her down. I was trying to deliver a package when I encountered a wild carrot. If you walk up to me, I'll push the shit. Go ahead. What are you doing? You're parking in a handicap. Bro, shut up. I'm just delivering packages. No, no, you are parked I, bro, in a Bro, move! Hand. I don't have to. You're on my property bro, now. Bro, you get the fuck out the way, I Come knock on. you the out, bro. Move! You walk wrong with you. This annoying teen Karen thought it was a prank to harass a guy, but that guy lost his cool and put Karen in her place. Epic. This Karen was on her cell phone when a cop pulled her over, and she had the nerve to talk trash even though she didn't have a driver's license with her. Yes, you are, ma'am. Good morning. Which is, and the speed limit is 40, and I was going 38, so why are you harassing you're me? You are correct. I pulled you over because... Because you're a murderer. Because uh, yes, I started to record because you can't you're a murderer. Be a, you can't be on your cell I, phone I while you're driving. I was on my phone. I was recording you because you scared you can't, me. You can't use your cell I phone while you're recording. I can record you. May I have your driver's license? I, it's, it's at my apartment. What's your apartment? It's at my home. I'm just taking my son to his... Do you, have, a, do you have your driver's license? I... It, I mistakenly left it at home. Do you have a picture of your driver's license? Yes, I do. May I have it? And can you call your supervisor, please? I, I already did. He's on his way. Good, because you're a murderer. Okay. And so you're giving me a cell phone ticket? Is that why you're harassing me? Not harassment. Yeah. I, I am enforcing the law. I now. have a right to and record the police when they're harassing me. By all means, but you can't do it while you're driving. I was. I can. I wasn't. Doesn't texting or none of that. Do you have? And you had that you picture? scared me and made me think you were going to murder me. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, you're. That's not just a feeling. You're a murderer. Okay. Can you zoom in on that for me, sure. dear? Sure. Thank you. And I'm perfectly legal, and I'm a teacher. So oh. there. Congratulations. Murderer. You're a murderer. What's your last name? I can't see that there. Well, you here you stop, go, murderer. Stop shaking. Zoom in on that for no, me, No, because right? you're scaring me. Oh, you're don't... threatening to kill me and my son. Can you give me okay. the, the well, you, iPad? You, I'll tell you what, you keep smiling. Yeah, you're on camera. You keep, you're, you're trying to threaten to kill me. I'm I not didn't smiling. Say that. You're the one who's crazy. Hold that still. I can't see that. Uh, is this your car? Yes, it is. Um, you're trying to say I stole my own car because you're jealous? Yeah, is that what I don't that's think about? so. You wait for me right here, okay? You're jealous. All you need to do is get your signature. He's only citing you for using your cell phone while you're driving. That's it. There you go, ma'am. Sign inside the red box a, right there. For him being a Mexican racist. What is that name? Gas. It's on the citation, ma'am. Here you go, Mexican racist. You're always going to be a Mexican. You'll never be white. You know that, right? You'll never be white, which is what you really want to be. You there you go, be dear. White. Have you, a good day. You want to be white.
Karen was off the rails, not allowing anyone near her aisle, screaming her lungs out, and making a scene that nobody could ignore. She was talking about it being a pandemic situation, even though she wasn't wearing a mask. Did you literally just tell me not to I go said down the aisle? The law is six foot. You're trying to infringe. I'm not going to let you do it. You can go shop somewhere else. And when I'm done here looking at what I want to look at, then you can come back. If you can't back up. Don't look at me like that. You ain't stupid. You ain't doing nothing but trying to confront. She's not going to let you through. Her. Back up. She said there's a six foot. Call security. Security. Why can't you go near her? She doesn't want nobody near her. Security! Well, if you move, we can go around. No, I'm not moving. I was here shopping. When I get done selecting what I want to select, you can back up with the six foot law and wait, or you can go somewhere else until I'm done. It's the law. You don't want to obey it, then get the fuck out of the United States. Okay? It's the law. You got a problem with the law? Do you? I don't want to die today. Where's your mask? Honey. I don't, it's irrelevant. It's <coughs> irrelevant. I won't whatever judge I'm not you interested in going to the hospital and dying because of you. Back up. I'm done. Can you please get what you're getting so I can finish grocery shopping? As soon as you back up, she won't let us through. I'm not. Look, there's a six foot law, and they're trying to get within my six foot range, and I'm not going to let them do it till I'm done I selecting what I want to select. Them. You can't let them buy. No, I can't, because they get within my six foot when they go by. No, I can't. They can either back up or they can go do some other shopping and come back when I'm done. I'll go get my next one. You ain't doing right. nothing but confronting me, all right? You're the aggressor here, not me. We were literally just trying to go down the aisle. Like I said, there's a six-foot law. You ain't literally trying to do nothing but make me sick and go to the hospital. I'm fully vaccinated, if that makes you feel it's better. It's irrelevant because it mutated, honey. Don't act like you're stupid. You know exactly what you're doing. Karen stands in front of a car, refuses to move, and then her gang shows up, scaring the people inside the car, trying to rob them. It was like something out of a movie. Get your out of my way. Get your out of my way. Get your out of my way. Get the out of me. Recorded, so. What are you doing? This is her car. This is not 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 her car. Hello? Oh, Dad. because they're hitting my car and I feel threatened for my life. They said my, oh my god! My car, my oh my car. god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm headed east on Sprague, I mean west on Sprague towards the McDonald's. Oh my god, no, 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 dad. Oh my god. Oh my god, the dad, the door. The daddy's on a motorcycle. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I got about six people attacking my car. They, somebody just rolled on my car. No, Daddy. They're hitting my car with motorcycles and bicycles. I got a. Back, Daddy's behind you. Uh, I just turned off the spray. Uh... 
Karen really believed she could slap a worker in the restaurant without facing consequences. But guess what? The worker put Karen in her place, no nonsense tolerated. This crazy guy was harassing a lady in the store, but she wasn't having any of it and totally screamed back at him. It's like a crazy versus crazy showdown right there. Try, try, I swear to God, if you ever touch me again, I swear to God, I'm pressing full charges on you. You. Full charges. Dusty. I wish you would touch me. Touch me now. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. This Karen worker in the restaurant called the cops on a customer who was just chilling at a table. She said he was taking up space when there were many free tables available. Uh, we got a 30-minute order. She told me that originally, so then I went up and I got myself a drink. You have to get food, you don't have to So I made a purchase. I'm an actual customer of McDonald's okay. now. now. And I'm not allowed to stay? No. For what reason? Because we have a load, no loitering. So it's loitering since I got a drink and I'm hanging out, drinking my drink. All right, I'll give you 15 more minutes, but then you gotta go. Then can I have my money back for the drink since I'm not even allowed to have it in the store? I'm not even allowed to have my own drink that I paid for in the store at the store. You know how crazy that sounds? Like, I get it. Like, if I was, like, disturbing people here or, like, you know, that we have no place for the customers to sit when you're What about this table, that table, that table, that table, that table, that table? There's, like, 15 open tables. I'm not, like, I'm not talking to you. I'm actually just talking to her, so... I don't know what is wrong with you, like why she has such an attitude. If she was like respectful when she came over the first time and just talked to me, it'd be so different. Well, the problem is we have too many people coming in and sit for hours on end. That means yeah. that nobody wants to come and sit. I'm preventing customers from wanting to sit in McDonald's, is what you're saying. But if we get full and you're sitting, still if you, sitting If here, there was a lot of people here, I would be out. There's no, there's nobody here. It's so, it's, this is like... But you understand, you right? You can't order in other people's parking lots, can you? I'm not, I'm not in your parking lot. I'm in your store, and I bought a drink. Uh, I'm going to give you 30 more minutes, and you got that. Okay, so what happens at minute 29 if I go buy a, a small french fry? How much more time does that allow me to be in your store? I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing. I'm just asking you a question. If you're the supervisor, I'd expect well, you to ask. I'm just a oh, well, ask for the supervisor. The supervisor's not here. Oh, well. I don't know what to tell you then. Guess what? I'm not talking to you, I was talking to her. So you can go be cranky somewhere else. <laughs> You've been so cranky all day, I don't understand. Get out of her for what? So now she's gonna call the cops on me. You were just fine. They're old not old. I know. I don't understand. I'm not bothering a single person in here. What's going on, guys? Sorry to waste your guys' time like that. It is what it is, man. Yeah, you it's so your ID on you where I can document. I spoke with you. This male Karen cussed at the worker on the phone, and when they refused him service, he marched into the store playing the victim card. The girl that works here made a death threat to me on the phone. Who? There's a girl that works here. I was on the phone with her, and she said, I'm going to find out who the f are. My boyfriend's going to kill you. Where's she at? I called in for a commercial to have a battery delivered. Yes, I'm recording right now. I called in for, for a commercial to have a battery delivered. The battery wasn't delivered after 30 minutes. Called you guys back. She answers the phone, starts talking to gang of shit. Can't get batteries delivered because I don't have an account here at this store. But I do have an account everywhere. I had the hub deliver me stuff before. Okay, so you're from my sale, correct? Yeah. So that's the only, that's the occasion. No, 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 no. It's at your discretion. Here's your, uh, the hubs delivered me shit before. Tulare's delivered me shit before. Lindsay's delivered me. Manager, so whoever that I was on the phone with that gave me that attitude, I'm refusing that service. So you can go somewhere else. Okay. Whoever it was that called me those names, and it's that's really inappropriate. We're supposed to be professional as commercial accounts, uh -huh. store to store, uh -huh. right? But for you to call me those names, I don't appreciate it. Whoever it was, but you guys need to leave. 
And then that was your uh, little thing that I'm gonna find out who you are. I'm gonna find out who you are. I'm gonna fucking but kill you. But you, what you called me was really inappropriate. And you're, you, uh, you work, you out. work in commercial, you com in customer service. I'm I mean, the one doing yeah, I said. Manager here. Okay, with you cussing, that's all, you need to get that's out what of I the said. store now. That's all I said. And that's what I'm letting you no, guys you know. No, you didn't. You called me a whore. Yeah, over I the know. Phone for what? You don't even know who I am, so you need to get out. This. <laughs> you need to get out now. I already spoke with my district manager, so you need to get out of the store. I'm just taking. I'm just recording care. a video to let you guys know okay, what's going on. That's fine. And this but is going to go into my me, archive right here, and I am going to talk to the freaking. I'm going to call corporate. So, and you disrespecting any of my other zoners? Yeah, you need to leave. I, I didn't disrespect anybody else. When I walked into the store, they already told me you were being rude to them on the phone. I was being rude to you on the phone. It was the Who other was guy, it? the other gentleman, where you were being rude. And then all I did was get on the phone and ask you and tell you that you didn't if you are phone. not my you... commercial account, I do not deliver to you. <sighs> so you needed wanted. to call your own store. And then you started calling me. For what reason? You no, don't no, know no. who I, I just, am. Look, just, I was trying to help look, you okay, out. Okay, okay. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to talk but over it. That's fine. No, gonna... that's fine. You need to get out of the store. I already spoke with my district manager. So yep. you need to get out. What's your I name? I appreciate that you're recording me. Okay. I didn't but I have a right to. Say that you could have recorded me. I have a right to record. Okay, What's well, your name? You need to get out of the store. My name's Lai. Lai? I'm the store manager here. Okay, cool. So you Thank you, Lai. This crazy guy starts yelling at the worker at the airport. Out of nowhere, he starts throwing punches. And wait for it. He takes off his shirt, flexing like he's some sort of Hulk Hogan. Bro, he died. Well, I would have taken him off. I want to take him off. I want that fade. That fade. Look, I need that fade, my nigga. I need that fade, bro. I need that fade, bro. I need that fade, bro. I need that fade, my nigga. They called security a minute ago. Hey, no! Who said it? No, 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 Go. 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 She called security 10 minutes ago. She called the police 10 minutes ago. Where is the police? Hey, brother, come on, man. Don't do that. Hey, brother. Hey, brother, don't do that. Look, brother, don't do that. Brother, look, they're going to take you to the prison tonight. They're taking you to jail. I'm going to whack one of you niggas. This is Homeland you. Security. You can't do that, brother. Come on, man. I'll whack one of you Come on. Come on. Calm I'll down. Whack one of you, you can't put your hands on nobody, brother. No, brother, don't do it. He ain't going to listen. He ain't going to listen. Mr. Karen at the airport believes yelling at cops will magically get him on any flight. But reality hits him hard when they gang up on him and arrest him. Oh, 
this worker confronted an idiotic male Karen who was dumb enough to go number two in front of a hotel. At first, he tried to act clueless, but when the worker mentioned the camera, this guy's brain just short-circuited. Hi, is this Kevin? Yes. Hi, this is the front desk at Super 8. Could you explain to me why you would thought it would be okay to take a sh outside of our building? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, what? You were on camera. Did you not realize that there's camera around our entire building? I did not. So why, why would you do that? I, I, I need to recommend, I was gonna come back to see this, but I completely forgot. Then why didn't you tell me like, hey, I really have to take a number two and I could have probably even let you back into your room. I didn't think about that. Yeah, man, not cool. Like you are never welcome at Super 8 ever again. Poor Karen couldn't believe she didn't get the manager's personal number at the drive-thru. All she wanted was to complain about the workers. Can I get you? Can I call? No, you can call tomorrow in the morning and there should be somebody here, but we don't call the manager. Okay, so there's somebody I can talk to. There'll be Carla okay. or Nikki. All right. All right. Who are you, Summer? Ooh. I'm going to give you the right up before you'll get in. Oh, I know. Bye, babe. Bye. This worker at the gas station straight up threw Karen out because she didn't pay. It was wild. Grandpa Karen had a total meltdown in a road rage situation, threatening a lady and kicking her car like crazy. I don't have to, sir. You can get the. You, know you can go, you know sir. Do you know what you did? Did you lock the doors? Yes, baby. Do you know what you did? Huh? You can stop. This old male Karen had the nerve to scream at this lady like she's the bad driver when he's the one who shouldn't be allowed on the road. Oh. What the f***? Shut up. Who told you how to drive anyway? Are you kidding me? I used my blinker. I yeah, slowed you down. You, you and you sped blinker. up, bro. You used you, your left blinker. Yeah. Yeah, you used your left blinker to turn right. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't, did. honey. Oh, you did. No, I didn't. You're a stupid driver. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, b Oh, ooh, thank you for that. Great. Is that your oh, IQ? Grandma Karen tried to drive off without paying at the gas station, and in her hurry, she broke the fuel nozzle, which got stuck in her car. When the worker confronted her, she was dumb enough to try to play innocent. Hey, hey! 
You snatched the whole hose out. You snatched the whole hose out. And you got to put the hose up. Oh, my God. No, I didn't because it wouldn't give me any gas. Or if I just took it. Oh, that's what was dragging. Yes, ma'am. It was. It wasn't. It was. I mean, it wouldn't work. So I was going to another one. Well, I mean, you have to take the hose out to leave. Oh, I know. Yes, ma'am. I need your insurance information. Huh? Your insurance information. Oh, come on. Really? Do you know how much this cost to replace? The thing was broken. It was not broken, ma'am. It's not broken. It's not broken. Oh, it's broken now, it's but it's not shit, broken. Okay. Man, that off, like two grand. To have the people come out and fix it. I got your tag, dumbass! Karen had a complete meltdown, screaming as if it were the end of the world, all because of some dog poo in the neighborhood. Here's a fun fact. She doesn't even live there. You, you can go. How you can go. Do I need to tell you to off? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. Off. Okay, grand Call face. the cops, goddammit, if I you think, don't like well, me over I mean, here. Okay. Motherfucker. Karen. You call him. You can call me Karen if you want to. I just did. Get me on video. Well, good. I, you... How many times do I have to tell you to off? That's the second time. Okay. Now. Good. And okay. I've told you a third one and you still keep hounding me. Are you? you call the cops. <laughs> call the <laughs> cops. Call the property management. Are you done? Why are you... don't you call Are you now, done? Are you done? Call now. Are you done? No, I'm not. Are you done? I'm waiting you on you, man. For I, no, reason. no, it's been a reason. Okay, I, no, it's not. Yeah. How many times do I see people out here walking their dog, not picking you don't up a live here. and die? You're wrong. That's why you're you, wrong. Look at the way you're Call acting. Look at the way you're acting. Look at the way you're Call acting. The they will be called. Okay. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Okay. I know. Thank you. That was great. That was fantastic. That is going all over YouTube and all over my pages.